ओके नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू सेक्शन थ्री प्लीज सेक्शन थ्री में वंस अगेन वी हैव मल्टीपल चॉइस और सेक्शन थ्री में आमतौर पे दो तरह के क्वेश्चन ज्यादा कॉमन है एक मल्टीपल चॉइस और एक मैचिंग मैचिंग में आपको एक पूरी लिस्ट दी होगी उसको आपने क्वेश्चन के साथ मैच करना है अब मल्टीपल चॉइस में देखिएगा वुली मेमथ ऑन सेट पॉल्स आईलैंड अब वुली मेमथ इट्स जस्ट अ काइंड ऑफ एनिमल राइट on st paul's island okay question number 21 how will rosy and martin introduce their presentation ke okay, presentation ko introduce kaise karwayenge a drawing of woolly mammoth drawing dikhayenge ki ye dekhen ji ye hai woolly mammoth ek animal hai uske lambe lambe daant nikle hote hain and all that b hai timeline showing when woolly mammoth lived yani a hai wo uski drawing dikhayenge picture dikhayenge बी है टाइमलाइन बताएंगे कि इस दौर में एग्जिस्ट करता था और सी है वीडियो क्लिप ठीक हो गया फोकस करना है अब आपने ड्राइंग पे टाइमलाइन पे वीडियो क्लिप पे अब क्या होगा वो रोजी कहेगी कि हम ड्राइंग से स्टार्ट करते हैं मार्टिन कहेगा नहीं ये तो सभी करते हैं हम लोग जो है ना इसकी बजाय टाइम बताते हैं हिस्टोरिकली के कब कब हुआ वो कहेगी ना दैट विल बी प्रिटी बोरिंग और फिर वो कहेंगे वाई शुडेंट और वाई डोंट वी शो अ वीडियो क्लिप और अ फुटेज अबाउट वोली मेहमत दैट्स अ गुड आइडिया अगर उन्होंने ये कहा ना दैट्स अ गुड आइडिया तो आंसर सी होगा मतलब जिस पे वो आपस में रजामंद नहीं हो रहे अग्री नहीं कर रहे वो आंसर नहीं है जिस पे अग्री कर गए वो आंसर होगा ठीक है दैट्स अ गुड आइडिया लेट्स डू इट दैट्स परफेक्ट इस तरह से क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी और जो लंबे लंबे ऑप्शन है ना घबराना नहीं है हेल्पिंग वर्ब ना पढ़े सिर्फ वर्ब नाउन एडजेक्टिव ये तीन वर्ड्स पे फोकस कर लें आपको समझ आ जाएगा क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू वट वॉज सरप्राइजिंग अबाउट द मेमत टूथ फाउंड बाय रसल ग्रैम रसल ग्रैम को मेहमत का दांत मिल गया अब दांत के बारे में हैरान कन बात क्या थी ए इम्बेडेड इन मेहमत जॉ बोन के दांत अभी भी उसके जबड़े में लगा हुआ था ठीक है देखा आपने मैंने इट वॉज स्टिल को नहीं पढ़ा ये जान के देते हैं ताकि ऑप्शन लंबे से लंबा हो और स्टूडेंट्स को समझ ही ना आए बी क्या है फ्रॉम एन अन नॉन स्पीशी ऑफ मेमथ अन नॉन स्पीशी को अंडरलाइन कर लें जॉब ऑन के बारे में हैरान कन बात क्या थी इन जो उसका दांत मिला कि दांत जबड़े में लगा हुआ था या फिर वो दांत किसी अन नॉन स्पीशीज ऑफ मेहमत का था और सी क्या है नॉट एज ओल्ड एज मेहमथ रिमेन्स कि इतना पुराना नहीं था जितना कि वो मेहमत रहता है क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी स्टूडेंट्स विल यूज एन एनिमेटेड डायग्राम टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट हाउ द मेमथ अब उन्होंने एनिमेटेड डायग्राम यूज करनी है क्या बताने के लिए हाउ द मेमथ ए बिकम आइसोलेटेड ऑन द आईलैंड के जजीरे पे आके अलग कैसे हुआ बिकेम पास्ट है बी अब ये देखें ये मल्टीपल चॉइस स्टार्ट हो रहा है वर्ब से तो आपने फोकस करना है वर्ब पे सपरेट फ्रॉम द आईलैंड टू अदर एरियाज अब स्प्रेड की जगह पे कोई और वर्ड भी आ सकता है हाउ इट वेंट टू अदर एरियाज हाउ इट डिस्पर्स ऑफ टू दी अदर एरियाज एंड सी ए को एग्जिस्टेड विद अदर एनिमल्स के दूसरे एनिमल्स के साथ मिलकर रहना शुरू कर दिया को एग्जिस्टेड बिकेम आइसोलेटेड स्प्रेड एंड को एग्जिस्टेड ट्वेंटी फोर है अकॉर्डिंग टू मार्टिन अब मार्टिन को गौर से सुनना है जब भी आए ना अकॉर्डिंग टू तो आपने फिर उसको ध्यान से सुनने आंसर उसमें होगा अकॉर्डिंग टू मार्टिन व्हाट इज अनयूजुअल अबाउट द डेट ऑफ द मेमथ्स एक्सटिंक्शन ऑन द आइलैंड व्हाट इज अनयूजुअल अबाउट द डेट ऑफ मेमथ्स एक्सटिंक्शन एक्सटिंक्शन कहते हैं जैसे डायनासोर नहीं नापैद हो गया खत्म हो गया तो उसके जो नापैद होने की डेट है उसके बारे में क्या अनयूजल है डेट के बारे में क्या चीज अनयूजल है ए हाउ एग्जैक्ट इट इज कि वो जो डेट है कितनी एग्जैक्ट है कितनी दुरुस्त है बी हाउ अर्ली इट इज कितनी पुरानी डेट है अर्ली है एंड सी हाउ इट वाज इस्टेब्लिश जो वो डेट है वो डेट कैसे इस्टेब्लिश हुई इन तीनों में से एक चीज है उस डेट के बारे में विच इज अनयूजुअल एंड अदर टू थिंग्स आर यूजुअल नाउ प्ले दी ऑडियो प्लीज लिसन केयरफुली एंड यू गॉट टू फाइंड दिस नाउ लिसन केयरफुली एंड आंसर क्वेश्चन to 24 So Rosie and Martin let's look at what you've got for your presentation on woolly mammoths Okay we've got a short outline here Thanks 
so, it's about a research project in North America. Yes, but we thought we needed something general about woolly mammoths in our introduction to establish that they were related to our modern elephant and they lived thousands of years ago in the last ice age. Maybe we could show a video clip of a cartoon about mammoths, but that'd be a bit childish. Or we could have a diagram. It could be a timeline to show when they lived, with illustrations. Or we could just show a drawing of them walking in the ice. No, let's go with your last suggestion. Good. Then you're describing the discovery of... He said, let's go with your last suggestion. And what was that? B, timeline showing. Okay? Samaj aari hai na? Let's go with your last suggestion. To usko thoda zain mein bhi rakhna hai. Let's go on. The mammoth tooth on St. Paul's Island in Alaska and why it was significant. Yes, the tooth was found by a man called Russell Graham. He picked it up from under a rock in the cave. He knew it was special. For a start, it was in really good condition, as if it had been just extracted from the animal's jawbone. Anyway, they found it was 6,500 years old. So why was that significant? Well, the mammoth bones previously found on the North American mainland were much less recent than that. So this was really amazing. Then... So 6,000 and then not less recent than that. So it's C. C. It was not as old as mammoth remains. Okay, let's go on. we're making an animated diagram to show the geography of the area in prehistoric times. So originally St. Paul's Island wasn't an island. It was connected to the mainland and mammoths and other animals like bears were able to roam around the whole area. Then the climate warmed up and the sea level began to rise and the island got cut off from the mainland. So those mammoths on the island couldn't escape. They had to stay on the island. And in fact, the species survived there for thousands of years after. Okay, what about 23? Yeah, the water levels went up and became isolated on the island. Well done. 24, please. They'd become extinct on the mainland. So why do you think they died out on the mainland? No one's sure. Anyway, Next, we'll explain how Graham and his team identified the date when the mammoths became extinct on the island. They concluded that the extinction happened 5,600 years ago, which is a very precise time for a prehistoric extinction. Which is a very precise time for a prehistoric extinction. A. Exact. Precise time and exact it is. Right? Okay, so you can practice this. Uh, all right, let's just quickly finish it, okay? It'll take only 10 minutes. No, we'll just move on with it. Where is this music being played? Please stop there. Questions 25 to 30. What action will the students take for each of the following sections of their presentation? So actions and sections of presentation. Very simple, sections of presentation are like introduction and then there are the parts of it and actions are given. Now listen, uh, questions are not important, actions are more important. So please come to actions. Action A, make it more interactive. Now listen, they will be using synonyms, right, for make it more interactive. They will use the word interact with the audience, involve the audience, talk to the audience, something like that. Make it more interactive. A. B. Reduce visual input. Visual input means visual aid. Reduce means cut short. Reduce the amount of or percentage of two-third of the visuals should be reduced like that. C. Add personal opinion. Add personal opinion means add their own views. For personal opinion, they can use the word views. Option D, contact one of the researchers. 
for contact they can say talk personally with one of the experts again i'm telling you they will use uh, synonyms for that option e make detailed notes so for detailed notes they can use any other word option f find information online for online they can use the word internet on the web website anything like that option g check timing for check timing means anything option h organize the content more clearly organize the content okay now listen what you have to do your right left hand will come to question introduction and your right hand will move between the options you will see about introduction are they going to make it interactive adding visuals personal opinion research contact one of the researchers make detailed notes and all that whichever option you find you will write it down let's do one question together it's based on samples they took from mud at the bottom of a lake on the island they analyzed it to find out what had fallen in over time bits of plants volcanic ash and even dna from the mammoths themselves it's standard procedure but it took nearly 2 years to do before you hear the rest of the discussion you have some time to look at questions 25 to 30 Now listen and answer questions 25 to 30. So why don't you quickly go through the main sections of your presentation and discuss what actions needed for each part? Okay. So for the introduction we're using a visual. So once we've prepared that we're done. Oh, I'm not sure. I think we need to write down all the ideas we want to include here. Not first visuals and he said i don't think so we need to write down all the ideas now what is for write down all the ideas it's e make detailed notes exactly for visuals he said i don't think so right so this is how they play one will say one thing second will deny that let's go on just rely on memory How we begin the presentation is so important. Mm, you're right. The discovery of the mammoth tooth is probably the most dramatic part, but we don't have that much information. Only what we got from the online article. I thought maybe we could get in touch with the researcher who led the team and ask him to tell us a bit more. Great idea. Great idea. It's D. Yeah we talk to the researcher and all that yeah okay now let's go on 27 What about the section with the initial questions asked by the researchers we've got a lot on that but we need to make it interesting We could ask the audience to suggest some questions about it and then we could ask the audience Yes Let's see how many of them we can answer I don't think it would take too long Yes, that would add a bit of variety. Okay, make it more interactive. Question number 28. Further research carried out. Then the section on further research carried out on the island, analyzing the mud in the lake. I wonder if we've actually got too much information here. Should we cut some? I don't think so, but it's all a bit muddled at present. Yes. Maybe it would be better if it followed a chronological pattern. I think so. If we follow the chronological pattern, that is H organize the content more clearly. Chronological pattern is a pattern mean first thing first then second then third and all that.